Hi, I'm Michelle and today I'm going to read you a story called Peace at Last by Jill Murphy. The hour was late. Mr Bear was tired. Mrs Bear was tired. And Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. Mrs. Bear fell fast asleep, but Mr. Bear didn't. Mrs. Bear began to snore. <coughs> Went Mrs. Bear. <coughs> oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear was not asleep either. He was laying in bed pretending to be an aeroplane. Meow, went Baby Bear. Meow, meow, meow. Oh no, said Mr Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. Tick tock. Tick tock went the living room clock. Tick tock, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the kitchen. Drip, drip went the leaky kitchen tap. Hmm, went the refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the garden. Well, you would not believe the noises in the garden. At night, twit twoo, twit twoo, went the owl. Shuffle, snuffle, went the hedgehog. Meow, sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the car. It was uncomfortable in the car and cold, but Mr. Bear was so tired, he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeped in at the car window. Tweet, tweet, sang the birds. Shine, shine, went the sun. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs. Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. Mr. Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. Peace at last, he said to himself. went the alarm clock. Ring. Mrs. Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Oh, did you sleep well, dear? She said. Not very well, said Mr. Bear. Never mind, says Mrs. Bear. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did. Poor Daddy Bear, look, he's so tired, he's had no sleep at all. And there's Baby Bear jumping on the bed and Mrs Bear bringing him a nice cup of tea. What a lovely story. The end. Thanks for listening.